everyone, and welcome to The Journey. This will be the last week in our Summer of Song series, but don't worry, next month we'll start a new S. We'll be learning about stewardship at our church, things that are going on and ways that you can help. So I know you'll be excited to get more information about that. As we begin Journey tonight, we ask you to get your space ready, lay out your cloth or your fabric or your placemat, whatever you're using to to define your space, light your candles. Christ is here with us in this space, and he's with you at home as well. And we use this to unify us and to remind us that we're all a part of worship together. You're not just watching, you're experiencing it with us. So set your place, and we'll begin with the reading from our Bible at Psalm 42. So get your Bible ready and turn to Psalm 42. Read along with me. As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. Where can I go and meet God? My tears have been my food day and night, while men say to me all day long, Where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul. How I used to go with the multitude, leading the procession to the house of God, with shouts of joy and thanksgiving among the festive throng. Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. My soul is downcast within me, therefore I will remember you from the land of the Jordan. The heights of Hermon from Mount Mazar, deep calls to deep in the roar of your waterfalls. All your waves and breakers have swept over me. By day the Lord directs his love, at night his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I go about mourning, oppressed by the enemy? My bones suffer mortal agony as my foes taunt me saying to me all day long, where is your God? Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Sing wherever I go, all my life, all I know. God's been good, good to my soul, mountain high, valley low, I'm gonna sing wherever I go. God is for me, he's not against me, I will hold to the plans he has for me, when I'm broken, he will fix me, I will call on the name of the Lord. All my life, all I know, God's been good, good to my soul. Mountain high, valley low, I'm gonna sing wherever I go. He's my heart song. In my sorrow, he's my hope and my strength for tomorrow. When the storms rise all around me, I will call on the name of the Lord. All my life, all I know, God's been good. Good to my soul, mountain high, valley low, I'm gonna sing wherever I go. I got joy, 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 deep in my soul. Good. 
good to my soul. Mountain high, valley low, I'm gonna sing wherever I go. This week, we have a special musical guest, Miss Lily Bennett. Lily is the granddaughter of my dear friend, Laquita Bennett, daughter of Chad and Brianne Bennett, and sister to Weston. In her short years, she has won talent competitions at the local and state level. Lily loves sharing her talents with her local congregation. She will be entering sixth grade in the fall. Welcome Lily as she sings Lauren Daigle's You Say. I keep fighting voices in my mind that say I'm not enough. Every single lie that tells me I will never measure up. Am I more than just a sum of every? And every low Remind me once again Just who I am Because I need to know
Good evening, everyone. For our very last summer of songs, we've been trying to think of a song that everyone knows, and I just can't think of one. We've been thinking and thinking, and I just can't think of a song that all of our kids and all of our families know. It's me, it's me, EP320. Hi, EP. It's so good to see you again. Hi, Miss Crystal. I heard you talking, and I thought I had a pretty good idea. <gasps> what is it? We need a song that we all know. I, I know, I know. How about even when the lions roar? Oh, that's perfect, EP. That's our favorite. We still request it every Sunday during Children's Church. We all know it and love it, even when the lions roar. What a good choice, EP. Great idea. Let's do it. surrounded I will not be overcome the battle rages but the victory is won there's no safer place than where you are you defend me so I trust you with my heart I will not be shaken I will not be moved all my hope is in you, is in you. I will not be shaken, I will not be moved. All my hope is in you, even when the lions roar. Even when the lions roar. No power that can ever separate. Jesus is faithful and will never turn away. There's no safer place than where you are. You defend me so I trust you with my heart. I will not be shaken. I will not be moved. All my hope is in you, is in you. I will not be shaken, I will not be moved. All my hope is in you, even when the lions roar. Even when the lions roar. Even when the lions roar. Even when the lions roar, even when the lions roar. The great hymn of hope, It Is Well, was birthed from a terrible tragedy. The author, Horatio Spafford, was a Presbyterian layman from Chicago. He was a very successful lawyer who was also a devout Christian. Among his close friends were several evangelists, including the famous Dwight Moody, also from Chicago. Spafford's fortune evaporated in the wake of the Great Chicago Fire of 1871. Having invested heavily in real estate along Lake Michigan's shoreline, he lost everything overnight. In a saga reminiscent of Job, his son died a short time before his financial disaster, but the worst was yet to come. Hymnologist Kenneth Ospeck tells the story. Desiring a rest for his wife and four daughters, as well as wishing to join and assist Moody and Sankey in one of their campaigns in Great Britain, Spafford planned a European trip for his family in 1873. In November of that year, due to un unexpected last-minute business developments, he had to remain in Chicago, 
but he sent his wife and four daughters on ahead as scheduled on the SS Ville de Havre. He expected to follow in a few days. On November 22nd, the ship was struck by the Lockern, an English vessel, and sank in 12 minutes. A sailor rowing a small boat over the spot where the ship went down spotted a woman floating on a piece of wreckage. It was his wife, Anna, still alive. He pulled her into the boat, and they were picked up by another large vessel, which nine days later landed them in Wales. From there, she wired her husband a message which began, Saved alone, what shall I do? Mr. Spafford later framed the telegram and placed it in his office. Spafford booked passage on the next available ship and left to join his grieving wife. With the ship about four days out, the captain called him to his cabin and told him they were over the place where his children went down. According to his daughter, Bertha, born after the tragedy, Spafford wrote these words while on this journey. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. i
please bow your head and pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. In God's name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for the last week of the Journey Summer of Songs. We'll see you back next week for the first week of the Journey Summer of Stewardship. See you then.